Hello, YouTube and fellow resellers. We're getting a different scene today. This is Kevin, the stoic reseller, and uh, it's all burning down. I don't know, guys. What am I to do here? Oh, I know. We can have Lewis Black. I think that sums it up, huh? How about what? What else, Lewis? Like, what else you got? Tofsky, yeah, that's what I think about some of these YouTubers. What else you got? Are you fucking shit me? Yeah, that's what eBay's got me questioning. A lot of these YouTubers are really fucking toxic. What else you got? Go fuck yourself. I think he said it best. Guys, there's been a lot. Of toxicity on on uh, YouTube today. Yes, eBay has been so slow. It has been terrible today. But I still was able to squeak out four sales in 24 hours for like 132 bucks. I'm not even gonna bother showing you them. Um, as I got a, uh, I can tell you what they are. It's a Viore shirt sold for like 30 bucks. A Lululemon ABC Chino that was really well worn. Still sold for 25. Tells you how strong of an item that is. Some uh, Under Armour match play pants sold for like 19. And a Ministry of Supply purple French cuff shirt sold for like 35 bucks. Guys, so the level of toxicity I have witnessed today through comments, through other things, through people arguing a point that kind of doesn't prove anything. It, it doesn't propel you to your goals. Toxicity will never, never get you from point A to point B. If you want to make it in this business, you got to grow some thick fucking skin. And stop blaming everyone else because you didn't get a goddamn sale. Because at the end of the day, eBay doesn't owe you a fucking thing. Plain and simple. Why does eBay owe you anything? Oh, it's us. It's us. It's us, the fucking resellers that make the company money. Is it, though? Has anyone ever questioned if eBay profits off a $5 item? I don't think they do. I don't think people realize that why should eBay waste their server space? Why should eBay waste their precious customer service reps' time? Why should they waste all the technological advancements that they've made over the course of the years on a $5 item to get a sale on a $5 item where they make $1.50? If someone can clearly answer that for me, that'd be great. They don't owe us anything. If you can prove to me that eBay owes any of us anything, then I'll I'll eat my glasses. How about that? I'll eat this dolphin's hat that I've worn for two years. Because it's a lucky dolphin's hat and they've been pretty good for the last two years, so they need to go to the Super Bowl this year or, or I might have to get rid of it. I digress. Guys, stop with the negativity. Hold yourselves accountable. Continue being consistent. Continue doing what you know. And if that's not working, pivot. Don't quit on your dreams. Relentlessly pursue them. Because that's what I do. That's what I'm doing right now. I had four sales. I can make a two-minute video of those four sales and then call it quits. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to talk to whoever's listening. Whoever wants to listen. And give them advice to relentlessly pursue whatever the fuck you want. Don't let anything stand in your way. But at the same time, don't make stupid decisions. Don't cheat to accomplish your goals. Because once you cheat to accomplish those goals, those goals mean nothing. And you didn't learn a fucking thing to get there. And I'm, I'm specifically, the cheating and reselling is 
cross-listing is paying someone else to sell something on another platform for you. That's cheating. I mean, if you if you need to spend money, you need to pay someone so that you can get free up time so that you can go get your item on some other platform. So be it. Maybe I'm the stupid one. Maybe I'm the fucking ignorant one who doesn't understand that, hey, I'm going to go and list on another platform and well, who has 10 million users and my item's going to fucking sell in a day. You watch, you watch that 30 or to $50 that I spent to get that item to sell in a day is well worth it. Guess I'm that dumb one that doesn't want to do that. Or how about this? How about this, guys? Let's, let's pay a service to automatically send offers for me. What? What? Am I lost here? Am I the only one seeing that this is a dumb service? You can increase your sales. Okay, but how much? And for 50 bucks? 50? Dude, what? You got profit margins like me. 50 bucks is like... Dude, I, you'd have to tell me that that service is going to increase my sales by 50%. So if I get eight sales, I'm getting 12 now because it would have to pay for it some way, somehow. And I'm sorry, guys, it's not worth the time. Come on. I work a full-time job and find time to play Fortnite with my son and make time to converse with my wife and to enjoy the time with them. And I seem to be able to do it. Why can't anyone else do it? If you're full-time, why can't you figure it out? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. If I was full-time, I would just replace my time that I work now with the business to increase my listings. Still have the same amount of time. Maybe more free time. I don't know, guys. I'm just here to tell you, the toxicity level has been getting way out of control. And people need to just sit down, take a breath, use this this noggin not the dolphin don't use the dolphin dolphins there's a reason there's dolphin safe tuna okay use your noggin okay and think don't don't let the negativity eat you alive it's not worth it it's not worth it guys you want to give up on your dreams so be it and uh like alpha investment says i'm gonna ride this ship until it fucking crashes and if uh, I'm the last one standing, maybe I'm standing in a pile of shit. I don't know. But all I do know is I would have enjoyed the ride. I would have learned significant life lessons. And at the end of the day, I could live with that. Because I know, deep down inside, I never gave up on my passion, on my goals... And I didn't take the cheater's way out.